morning everybody still here at the uh, Ho rainforest at the uh, Ho Oxbow campground and now I have my own spot actually we as a group have these all three slots here in this last little loop so we basically own this little loop here and we all now have our own uh, campsite it's really nice I'll show you my my spot here Every one of these, you do have to walk down the trail a little bit to uh, get to the fire ring and picnic table and water. But it's a really easy walk down here, and I'm just going to spend a whole bunch of time down here. In fact, my laptop is charged. I'm going to bring my internet Wi-Fi down here and get some work done right here. Why not? little trail out to the water. Uh, in the last 24 hours, I've also been working on a lot of uh, detailed, specific things. I just have to call them things. I can't say anything more because I'm, I'm working on a bunch of stuff. So it's not all just uh, play out here right now. Um, but yeah, I didn't even take the scooter out today. I think uh, tomorrow I'll go scoot around because I want to stay here a couple more days, believe it or not. I may even put in close to my seven days here at this campground and then I'll be done for the year here at this particular one. But there's lots more in the state as well. So I don't even know if I'll stay in the state. But I do have to get back to Tacoma, which is a three and a half hour drive from here. That's too much on a scooter, I think. So either way, I'm probably leaving in two days. And I don't know what the history or background is on this, but I saw this rock right here, which somebody has uh, carefully painted by hand. See, that's, that's not natural. And then the back there is some writing, which, man, I really tried to make it out, but I just, wait a minute. Oh, now I can read it in the sun? Huh. 907 Andridge Rocks? Andridge Rocks. I'm not sure. But I wonder if these are the kind of rocks that uh, you're supposed to share, kind of like uh, geocaches. So, um, yeah, I think they're meant to be moved. So what I'm going to do is uh, take it with me and drop it off at another campground in the future. Right? Why not? Well guys, we are in a rainforest, so this was to be expected to a certain extent. <laughs> we, it rained all night, it is raining today, I don't really have any burning desire to go outside at the moment, but I know they gotta keep it green out there, so... Also my batteries were almost uh, completely drained, so I'm running the generator with my speed charger, uh, trying to replenish the battery situation here in the northwest. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get back to here in a little bit. It's still kind of drizzling. Well, actually, it's actually stopped raining, but it's still falling from the tree leaves and stuff. And I moved the RV out from my campsite over there back to the uh, opening right here just to get some of the solar. I'm getting a whopping three amps here on the cloudy day, but getting something. Now, uh, Andrew and Jada left, uh, went back to town. So this site is now open. And um, hopefully if James got my message and he can jet over here before somebody else takes this, because I can't reserve it or hold it. Uh, but hopefully, James, one of us estate, should be over later this afternoon and he'll just park right here and then again we'll have the loop. You know, I think a lot of campers in the Northwest give up uh, when it starts to rain. Having an RV doesn't really matter if it's raining. I'll just go inside until it stops. But again, we are in a rainforest, so this is to be expected. There's a reason why it's so green. The old Airstream there is, uh, well, they're already packed up. They just got to hook up and leave, and then this site will be open as well. And yes, I'm back to sandals and socks, because that's how we do it here. Well, that's how I do it. You would be amazed at the amount of people that I still meet that I've never met from my home state here. Because we have something in common, you know? I know a lot of people, and a lot of people follow my channel that like to travel and like to boondock and live in their RV. Uh, we happen to come to a lot of the same places, and so, like... I forgot their names. I'm so terrible with names, but anyway, they shared with me some other free campsites that are east of here, places I've never been, and there's the sun. See? Whoa! <laughs> they battled through the rain all morning and then left just as the sun came up. So, anyway, yeah, I like talking with people and finding new camp spots. Yep, roughing it here. Roughing it here at the campground. <laughs> roughing it. Right, Silver, we roughing it? 
I'm getting a whopping 4.7 amps of solar coming in through the clouds, but I'll take it as long as I don't have to run the generator non-stop all day. And I still have to be really careful eating because I've still got this composite tooth that I'm getting done here in a couple days. They're going to fix it, but it's purely aesthetic. It's not for biting into food and stuff, so I have to eat my pizza very slowly. Mm -hmm. Well, the DiGiorno's pizza was a little too much. I didn't even touch it, but I lost the tooth again. I lost the composite tooth. Um, it's okay. Like I said, I did get the, the root canal done, so there's no nerves, there's no sensitivity. Um, and like I said, in two days, I will have my tooth fixed up in Tacoma, but I'm gonna be toothless again for the rest of this video. Well, this is my office this afternoon, guys. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. You probably cannot see through the trees, but the river is right through there. It's kind of like a blue between the leaves and stuff. I uh, My Wi-Fi works out here, so I'm uploading the scooter video right now to YouTube. And I'm working in Adobe Premiere and editing the first half of this video that you're watching right now, basically. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put in a couple more hours and then uh, bring Jax out. James uh, got stuck somewhere doing some stuff he might be here before the sun sets I'm not sure but I'm gonna collect some firewood as well and see if we can have a good camp I know I said that last video I didn't film it but just but it was an awesome fire had had fun so yeah we'll go up here Hop up. good boy does that moss feel funny on your paws yeah Cool. Mao. Mao. Whoa, Mao. <laughs> you don't want it? You don't want it? Can I put it on your head? <laughs> I love you, man. Love you. What do you think of this river, huh? What do you think of the river? Want to go swimming? No? Just show cat butt? Just show the cat butt. I know. <laughs> you are a putz with a butts. Putz with butts. Putz with butts. Putz with butts. He's a putz with butts. Putts with butts, putts with butts. Jax is a putts with butts, butts, butts. Where are you going? Then you sniff around? All right. Wow. Wow. All right, you check it out. You check everything out. Make sure everything's okay, okay? Okay, let me know if you find anything, okay? All right. Who are you mowing at? You're gonna attract wild cougars. Does that moss feel funny on your paws? Is it soft? No. <laughs> oh, is that a tasty grain of grass right there? That's a better one, huh? There you go. Eat some grass and then puke in Dad's RV. Yeah. Um, I still gotta collect some firewood, guys. So, cut back in later tonight. Get him. <laughs> yep, James uh, finally joined us here. Two minutes after you guys left. And actually, James and I just got back from uh, getting wood, actually. Right down the road, about five miles north of here, they're selling these cedar bundles for uh, five dollars. Got five more over there, so we're gonna have a nice fire tonight. Maybe even save some of this for tomorrow. Man, what a nice day out here.
Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.